Hi, I'm Colin McPhillips, Salt Life team member. I'm down here at one of my favorite beaches, San Onofre in Southern California, and I'm here to help level up your surfing. Okay, the first and easiest way to level up your surfing starts with paddling. Paddling is the start of all your surfing, riding waves, having fun. If you can't catch the wave, you can't surf. So the most common mistake going from beginner to intermediate would be the positioning on your board. You want to be positioned right in the middle so the nose isn't too far out of the water and obviously not too far up on the board so the nose isn't underwater. You want to have the right positioning, chest down, and that will give you all the momentum when you're getting into the wave. You just have your sweet spot of where you would be laying, which is right about in this area, so that the board's level in the water with just the nose, just the nose poking out. That'll give you the, the most power per stroke when paddling for the wave. And taking that next step is positioning. You want to put yourself in the deepest and steepest part of the wave. It actually makes you catch the wave easier. So you're, you're level up your paddling, you're a stronger paddler, you're in the right position on your board, you're in the right position on the wave, you're gonna catch every wave you paddle for. After you've leveled up your paddling, time to move on to the next step, and that's catching the wave. Positioning of where to catch the wave. The best positioning, you wanna be deep on the wave, kind of almost behind it. So when you catch it, you hop up, and one, that puts you in position to catch the wave, because if you're out with lots of surfers, deepest in the peak gets the wave. It's your wave, you're, you're in position for it. Also, closest to the curl is the best place to take off that get maximize your, your surfing of that wave. You hop up and that's where you, you jump into the transitioning down the line. There's no more of that beginner thing where you just go straight to the beach. You actually use your legs, you use your surfboard to project down the line to the open face. That's where real surfing starts. The next step in leveling up your surfing comes down to one thing, it's the bottom turn. It's the easiest way to pick out a surfer and see if they're beginner, intermediate, you name it. So a bottom turn basically sets up how you're gonna ride the wave. Most beginners, when you catch the wave, you drop in and you just go straight to the beach. And you just ride until you fall off or you hit the sand or, or you name it. A bottom turn is where you catch the wave, you stand up, you turn at the bottom of the wave and project down the line to the open face. That is where all your maneuvers come from, your speed, your, your tail turning, your top turning, you name it, it all starts with a bottom turn. If you don't bottom turn, either going right or going left, you go straight and straight's what beginners do. That's what you want to advance out of. I'm gonna show you in a regular stance position. I'm a regular footer. So you're gonna hop up, I catch the wave. You hop up in your stance, left foot forward for a regular foot surfer. You're gonna basically, when your feet hit the board, you're gonna pretty much put weight on your toe side using your hips and your upper body to turn and project down the wave. So I'm going to turn to the right and that's gonna project into the open face. And that is where all your maneuvers start. And let's hope the wave you're riding just continues and goes and goes and goes, and you have all kinds of time to do maneuvers. You've got your bottom turned down. You've now projected down the line. You're surfing a right, because that's the way I like to go. Left foot forward. You're surfing a right, you're going down the line. Now comes into play the body movement, generating speed, finding speed out of the wave, finding speed off the rail of your board, and that's using your surfboard correctly. Next step is now you're going down the wave. You're on open face using your body, pumping your board, using the rail of your board right here. That is where your speed comes from. Maneuvering your board back and forth, having your rail bite into the wave, in the pocket of the wave, and pumping your board back and forth. That's gonna make you go faster. Next, you go into using your rail to transition the other way, that's a maneuver. So if you're going down the wave, you're, you're in the pocket, you're doing great. All of a sudden, okay, I'm gonna cut back, back to the curl. You're engaging your other rail and going doing the same thing, just the opposite way. Maneuvers don't come without speed. You have to learn the speed, the control of speed, fast, slow, use the rail of your board. That's when you start hitting the lift, doing floaters, doing aerials, doing that. That like goes on and on next level. One of the key factors of leveling up your surfing is actually slowing things down. And it starts with your bottom turn. It starts with not, I'm not saying like, oh, you wanna go in slow motion, you wanna sl like go slow. Not what I mean. I mean you just want to slow things down with your approach in your head. When you hop up and do that bottom turn, when I say slow it down, think it through, you want to hop up in the right part of your board. You got to have that back foot over the fin cluster. And what I mean is your boards project speed if your feet are over the fins back there. On a short board like this, most people will run a tail pack. And that's because it's grippy, but one, it's right over your fin cluster. So when you hop up, your foot's on the pad, you know you're in the right spot. You bottom turn, you project down the line, you do your maneuvers, your 
feet are right on the fins, right where you need to be. The next thing is style. If you're rushing everything and this and that, your style is probably not gonna look really good. And you want your surfing to be pleasing to the eye. That's the biggest, one of the biggest things in surfing is style. You wanna look pretty, you wanna look natural. You wanna flow with the wave. Think things through and it'll really help mature and speed up your surfing ability. Those were some of my favorite tips to help you improve your surfing game. Enjoy yourself in the water, ride waves better, all that in one package. So I hope I helped you enjoy it. I hope to see you out in the water someday.